Hey folks, Jeff Eubanks, Eubanks Family Homestead, where hobby homesteading is a way of life. How y'all doing today? We've got a sunny day here in the midst of the cold, wet, rainy weather we've been having. So we're going to go on with our wicking bucket project. Now, I hope everybody has uh, purchased their materials because I have. Okay, I cut a hole in the top of my little lid here that the three quarter inch pipe will fit through. It can be loose. Doesn't have to be a you know press fit, anything like that. Okay, then we're gonna drill four holes in this bad boy. One. Two, three, whoop, I kind of stopped counting, didn't I? All right, there we go. So now then, we are going to use this. Hell, like my fancy workstation here. All right, now. You see where this hole is here? That's about where we want to put this one right here. So we're just going to put one in here about right there. Bingo. All right. So now, that goes in there like a so. I'm gonna put this on top of it. And I'm gonna put this in here. Then we're gonna come over here to the Dirtorator. Remember that video, folks? This is fancy. Okay, so we want to keep it kind of centered up in there. Now you notice how how uh, soft and fluffy this soil is. I mean, it's still got some organic material in it. But yeah, that is um, that is what we're using this year. So you fill her up to right there. You got everything covered up. And then where's my props? Here they are. our 10-10-10 fertilizer. Now, some of the, uh, like Leon, he tells you, you know, put a cup, uh, three-quarter cup, stuff like that. Well, boom. So that's uh, how I'm doing that. Put a handful, put a handful, put it in there, put that on top. All right. Now, <clears throat> you continue on now with the dirt. Now also, this would be when you'd put in some, some trace minerals or some Epsom salt. And my Epsom salt is in the house. I forgot it. But Epsom salt provides magnesium for the plants. Uh, always <clears throat> heard sprinkle some Epsom salts around your um, tomato plants and they won't get blossom in rot. So we're going to still do that, but when we'll, we'll do that when we actually, you know, top dress it. So we go in here, put some more, some more dirt, more dirt, more dirt, more dirt. 
no dirt. Now, this is complete. All you got to do now is when you get your plant, you come in here, and uh, of course you'll you'll have it. You know, if you're going to grow your own from your seed or whatever, you know, you'll have a root ball. You'll take it out of the plastic container, put it down in there, and then just kind of, you know, gently move the dirt around. Now, this still may grow weeds because weed seeds are everywhere. Now, what you can do is you can take some um, newspaper and put over here around it, and that will uh, prevent the weeds from growing up. Or you can get some at... Um, uh, landscaping cloth um, it's that black stuff you know you put down for a weed barrier and you put that on there and uh, if you cut that big enough you can you know cut it over and and wrap it around and tie it off and uh, you know look real neat so oh look at there I, I actually put this in a place where it's beneficial <laughs> so see now you can take your wicking bucket and wick wherever you want to. You can wick down the road. You can wick up the road. And if you place it on a pedestal such as this, and you put a tomato plant in it that's gonna grow up and over, you've got you know this much area. You don't have to do this. This is something I saw on Leon's channel. He does this with steel barrels though. But uh, this is just what I use for a visual reference. So, now it's complete. So what we'll do is when we put it in here, for the first few weeks, you water it like you normally would water it. You water it on top, that way those, all that soil gets, you know, soaked. And then after that, you start pouring in here. And you know, this is the water reservoir. So there'll always be, if there's water in here, there'll always be water in here. And that's how you do it. And then when you add your liquid fertilizer, your miracle Go, you pour it in until that comes out. That way you don't overfill it. So that, my friends, is how you make a wicking container. Uh, you can make them out of five gallon buckets. You could cut something like this in half. Do the same thing here. And then you could put, instead of a coffee cup, you could put, I mean coffee holder, you could put, you know, milk jugs, uh, you know, anything to go in there and, you know, pr provide the, uh, the reservoir. That way the, the dirt, now, if you notice, see the dirt went all the way down when we were putting it in there. Went all the way down. So that dirt will be able to wick all the way up. But yet up here in the top, it won't be soaking wet. It'll just be moist. You've got the, the inch or so of uh, root. Um, air space that prunes the roots that keeps the roots from growing all the way down I'm not sure how that does it but it does it so uh, so that's how that works and uh, you know like I said it's not real heavy I'm sure my uh, my bride back here that's operating the camera could could move it around especially with the handle and uh, boom boom now you might say well Jeff is that a food grade five gallon bucket well, you know, I don't really know. But it's plastic. And, you know, uh, if, if you don't want to use this particular type bucket, you can go find you a food grade bucket somewhere. Uh, restaurants, I think, to get like five gallons of pickles in at a time. So you might be able to go to a restaurant and get you a food grade bucket. But uh, we're just going to try this and uh, go with that. But we're looking forward to seeing what happens with the uh, wicking container grow off. Uh, the 2021 wicking container grow off starts today. It is February the 17th. Uh, we've had some really cold weather here in North Georgia, really wet weather. And I think it's supposed to start raining again tonight. Uh, I don't really see a lot of rain clouds, but that's what they're saying. So uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, please like this video. Now, see now when y'all like our videos, that pushes us up in the search engines with YouTube. And that'll make it easier for folks to find our content, thereby making our channel grow. So please like our, please like our videos. Uh, if you're just breezing through, 
uh, cruising YouTube and you found this little video and it looks interesting to you, subscribe to our channel because we're going to be doing a lot with the you know, wicking baskets. We're still going to do some raised beds. Uh, we still got activities going on with our, our purple martins that's got to be taken care of. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on with our honeybees. And, you know, we just got a lot of things going on here that we want to share with you folks out there on in YouTube land. So um, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, like I said, subscribe, like, tell your friends about it. And uh, I guess that's about it for right now. So y'all come see us when you can. Bye-bye.